Hi guys, I've just got back in from shopping. Excuse me if I don't look the part at the moment. So different background, different vlog. So we're back on the vlog channel. I don't know if it's gonna be a vlog channel. I don't know. I was just inspired to share a shopping haul with you. If you want me to do some sort of lifestyle stuff, I can. Quick, quick catch up. So um, last time, well, when I stopped, I think was when I stopped decorating my other flat. I've lost a lot of weight since then, about six stone if you're in the UK, about 90 pounds if you're not. And I am separated now and living somewhere else. So I'm in a really different place because I lived on the Isle of Wight, which is a backwater and now I'm not in the backwater. So. It's quite exciting, but overwhelming. Talking of overwhelm, I have also been diagnosed with autism. So last night, I think it was, I post on my carnivore channel. So I will leave a link to that down below if you want to go and have a watch of that. It's quite long and it goes into a lot of detail about the process that I went through from realisation through to getting my diagnosis. So if you're in a similar boat, it might be quite helpful for you. But even if you're not, if you just want to understand me as a person a bit more, that video is the one for you to watch. I mentioned the carnival channel. That's how I lost weight, doing a carnival diet. So eating meat, cheese and eggs and fish and butter and salt. And my health has never been better. Never been better. I did fall off the wagon last night and I ate a really, really big bowl of noodles rice noodles and my lower back has been in agony all day today so that's quite interesting so I'm back on it now I do have some food here it's gone five o'clock I haven't eaten since last night uh, my stomach is rumbling so we've got to get through this so I can go and cook some food so let's see what we got first one's not very exciting recycled aluminium kitchen foil so you know that I was trying to be more sustainable a while ago. I saw this, this sort of thing wasn't available on the Isle of Wight, but this is recycled. Foil isn't great, but recycled is, I'm gonna convince myself a little bit better. I never meant to spend any money when I went into town. I think I needed one thing, but hey ho. Got myself some briefs and knickers. Um, they're normally 12 pound and were reduced to six pounds in M&S. Got these in a size 14. 14, can you believe it? I was, before I started losing weight, I was probably, not probably, definitely in a 24. So I'm in a 14 now. Picked up some heat rub. That is for my coccyx issues because a couple years ago, I had a fall and I damaged my coccyx, or as I know now, it's not my actual coccyx, it's the muscles. All my pelvic floor muscles have gone super tight. So when I sit down for any length of time, it's quite painful. Germaline, just because I was low on that and I do use it. So at the moment, I don't have a fridge or a washing machine and I can't buy one at the moment. So I have to go shopping every day, which is proven expensive because I can't just buy what I need. So I picked up some tin, this is tins of mackerel. Got two of those there, just cause they can sit in the cupboard and I can eat them when I need to. If I was to have a really bad day where I couldn't get out to the shop, then they will come in handy. Bottle of water that I bought, sparkling water. Some goat's cheese that I bought for tonight's dinner. If I buy cheese, I will just end up eating it all. And all the hard cheeses are like 200 grams and it's too much for me to eat in one day, but I will. But this was only 100 grams, so that's a bit better for me. I got a salt and pepper grinder thingies. I've been after these for the longest time, the longest time. And I could never find them. I could never find them on the Isle of Wight for some reason, not unless they were super expensive. Um, I was in M&S and these were 9.50 each. So it's not the cheapest, but 
how great do they look because I've got a black kettle you see so I thought that looked really nice and also because I buy coarse salt I buy Celtic sea salt um, I need to grind it easily so that's going to be really helpful and I do like a little bit of pepper. I also got these from M&S and that is three three tea towels so we've got a purple gingham one, a blue gingham and a plain pink one and they were reduced in M&S £7.80, no £7.50 to £5. Scrub Mummy because I love these, these are so good and I miss them. Some deodorant, I was in Holland and Barrett and I saw this for menopause support. So I haven't started my menopause yet, I'm still having periods, but um, I'm coming up to that time now. I expect it to happen around the beginning of next year, because that's just when the women in my family have started at the age of 50. It's got B, vitamin B6, calcium and vitamin C, which are all things that are gonna benefit me with, because I'm on the carnivore diet, so. Yes, I know, it's not strictly carnival. And I got myself a saucepan. So I bought a couple of stainless steel uh, frying pans, a small one and a larger one. But I was really wanting to boil eggs, which I could do in the larger one, really. But it wouldn't cover the whole egg. And I've been doing them in the air fryer. My dad gave me his old air fryer. Um, but I can't peel them nicely when they've been in the air fryer and they taste better like this. So just pick that up from TK Maxx, just 10 pounds. So I got myself some sardines. This is just John West, nothing special, but they are boneless. I don't know about you with the sardines, it's the bones that really get me. Um, I have really been enjoying sardines lately. There's a, um, there's like a challenge going around the internet where you eat only sardines for a week. I can't do that. I can't do that, but I do quite like having them occasionally. So I popped in Asda's and they had these towels. This is a bath towel. Um, and it was three quid, three quid. I bought some towels just before I moved here and I got them from m and because I wanted to treat myself and they were like, I think they were about 18 pounds each, but I couldn't miss this for three quid. And that is really for my hair because I've got two huge towels, but I haven't got another towel that I can wrap my hair in. So, and I like to do that to dry it off. I also picked up a fitted double sheet. When I moved, I got rid of all my old uh, bedding because it was manky. I've got a new duvet here, a nice feathered one. And I bought a duvet set, but I only have one. So I have one sheet and one duvet cover. So I need to build that up. And this was only four quid in Asda, so. I bought these meatballs from Heck. They do have minimal um, processing in them, sulfates, for example, and some pepper and things, um, but they weren't too bad in terms of ingredients and I quite fancied some meatballs, although I could have just bought mints and made meatballs myself. And I bought a Diet Coke. Where is it there? The only thing I would normally do is clean the toilet bowl with this, but, I've got some vodka up in the cupboard and I'll fancy a little drink. That is my little shopping haul. Not too bad. It has been worse in the past, but it's probably spent more than I should have. That's why I'm yanking out the videos now. So you're gonna see a lot more from me. Let me know if there's anything on this channel that you would like, all my other channels. So I've got the sewing channel, which we're gonna be doing some sewing real soon. And I've got the Carnival channel, which is basically a health channel, but about Carnival. But I don't, it doesn't have to just be Carnival content. For example, I've done my autism post over there. I'm going to do a weight loss post over there as well. Um, so if there's any content on any of my channels that you want, 
Do you want a vlog? I don't really don't know what I can show you. My life is so boring now. Well, it always was, but it's especially boring now. This flat that I'm living in needs a lot of TLC. So it's about the same size as my other one, but it's the other flat was open plan. This one is not. So it's got separate rooms, so I quite like that. Um, my kitchen's much better. Every room needs decorating, so maybe that's a project that we could do. You'll see this flat, the one I'm in now, in due course. I don't really want to do a tour of it, to be honest with you, but if we're going to decorate, then you are going to see it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because you're all clicking off, I'm sure. If you want to support my channel, you could purchase a coffee for me. That would be really, really helpful. If you can't do that, then liking, commenting and subscribing will be really beneficial. I'll leave a post to, I'll leave a link to my autism post down below so you can go and have a watch of that. And I will catch you very soon. Bye for now.